He now holds the fate of Marco Perez after more than four hours of closing arguments in his capital murder trial today. The prosecution and defense offering starkly different interpretations of the events from January 20th, 2019, when Perez allegedly fatally shot a Mobile police officer, Sean Tudor. Our Brendan Kirby is in the news center now with the latest. Brendan, as one prosecutor said today, this isn't a who did it case. Yeah, that's right, Byron and Lanise. There's no doubt that Perez fired the gun. What the jury must decide is whether that act constitutes capital murder or something less. After testimony stretching across eight days, the trial of Marco Antonio Perez came full circle Tuesday with closing arguments that featured the same surveillance video that jurors saw during opening statements. That clip from the Peach Place Inn Apartments in January 2019 shows Officer Sean Tudor in civilian clothes getting out of his private car and then scuffling with Perez. According to testimony, Officer Tudor went to try to arrest Perez on a federal warrant after getting a tip that he was at the apartment complex off of Leroy Stevens Road. The shooting took place outside the view of the camera, but prosecutors played ring camera video from a nearby resident in which the shots can be heard. A pop and then two more quick shots after an 11 second pause. Prosecutor Ashley Rich depicted the shooting as cold blooded, arguing that those two additional shots eliminate any possibility that this was self defense, as Perez's lawyers maintain. The defendant looked him in the eye, looked down, and shot him two more times, she told jurors. Defense attorney Dennis Nisley also played the surveillance video. He slowed it down, emphasizing Officer Tudor running around the car, gun drawn, grabbing Perez. Although the shooting can't be seen, Nisley argued that the evidence is consistent with Perez firing while the two were struggling, then again when Tudor was on the ground aiming his gun, and then one more time while the officer was reaching for the weapon next to him. If that's not acting in self-defense, there is no such thing as self-defense, Nisley told jurors. That is hard proof. The courtroom was packed for the closing arguments. Among those in attendance were Mobile Police Chief Paul Prine, the police chief at the time, Lawrence Batiste, Mobile County Sheriff Paul Birch, and District Attorney Keith Blackwood, along with a contingent of uniformed officers. To find Perez guilty of capital murder, the jury must be convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant killed Tudor intentionally, that it wasn't self-defense or the result of a heat of passion, and that Tudor was on duty at the time. If the verdict is guilty, the trial will then shift to the penalty phase as prosecutors try to persuade the jury to impose the death penalty. Reporting live from the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.